Welcome back. Uh, did you miss me? I hope so. If you didn't, that's fine. I understand. Alright, so. We just got through feeding Cerberus. And plenty other bosses. As we continue our way to the underneath area of the castle. It's obviously falling apart. So. I'm doing fine. Are you doing fine? Good to hear. A grim one there. And I don't mean the ones from the movie. These guys are going to be It's just... Rude. Buddy. You're making me look bad. It's the start of the episode. What are you doing? You're making me look bad. Alright. My sword friend. You, uh, take a break. For now, we are bringing forth the Devil Familiar. I should probably click it. Okay, nothing way to say. That's fine. All right, now he actually has some pretty good effects and stuff. His damage. He does element-based damage with his attacks compared to like, the sword that does the physical, just neutral damage. However, he also uh, he can help us out with one little thing. So I think though I'm gonna stick with the sword for this one. So our friend here, if you'd be so kind to help us, once we get where we're at, where we're going. Cool. Cool. Let him rest up till next time. Doing good damage. Doing good work. Alright. So as you saw, yeah. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Yep. Door only he can open. Alright. I'm sorry if it sounds annoying, but I've gotta get a better weapon equipped. Um yeah. We're going back to the holy rod. We just gotta get that faster attack speed. Because yeah, it's down by a few points of damage, but oof, just the sword just swings so slow. Don't need the money right now, so yeah, let's uh, let's play smarter. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right. I can literally I'm doing three or four attacks. The amount of time it took me to do. We got really lucky on those ground thorns. Because the only one that hit me, I went flying in different directions. Behold, the Ring of Ares. So, look at this. We put this on. More strength. Our attack goes from 38 to 61. That's pretty good, isn't it? You might notice our defense drops from 25 to 1. Yeah, so. We put this ring on, we will get an immense stat damage offensive increase at the cost of also we take more damage. So. Wall turkey! Peanut, 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 peanut. Marley tea and the power of Sire. Power of Sire is a big AoE damage thing. And peanuts are. They heal, but they're a fun one to heal with. You have to basically catch them in the air to heal. But they heal so good too. So it's just like. Yeah, that time we got them before we got hit. See, that time we got critical. So we're doing good. However, for some reason, since we're doing just a little bit less damage, it takes three hits to get the gremlins. Hey, look at that. Another warp zone. 
Walk in, walk out. That's all you gotta do. Walk in, walk out. That's all you gotta do. Let's, uh, let's just ignore him. Let's just ignore all these enemies. We got a karma coin and a combat knife. 38 to 50 damage. It's pretty good, right? Mm. You get no. Yeah, let's uh, let's roll the combat knife for a bit. Why not? It's got a. It's got a. Pretty, uh, I'd say fair. It's got a good stabbing. Good stabbing. It's a good stabbing. See? Doing stabbings. Alright, alright. Alright, no goof around. Alright. Catacombs. Always keep going down, huh? Oh no, he skipped the save. Why would he do that? Maybe because he's gonna go over here and get this. The Bloodstone. Oh, and the Kai Circuit. Alright, so. The Bloodstone improves blood healing ability. So, that blood spell that I used, the Dark Metamorphosis, which allows me to get healing of certain enemies if they do blood particles and such. Um, this one makes that heal, I believe, it can, a very nice amount more. I don't use enough, so I think I'll pass for now. We also got the Cat Eye Circuit. Big HP Restore by Cat Damage. Uh, for having trouble with cat enemies later, which there are some of them. To be honest, there's only like two of the one, I can, actually one I think of that can cause me any trouble. I suppose later on in the game. Um, we would, we, I guess we could use that. But um, I, I think we'll just stick with our JoJo's stone mask here. Look at that, just doing some good stabbing. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> you. Haha, oh, there's more than one of you. You're getting stabbed. You're getting stabbed. Ooh, critical. You're getting stabbed. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with the uh, we'll stick with the little rebound stone. These enemies are strong against physical damage, so we'll use ghost damage, I guess. Alright. Yeah. You, you tell me how hitting someone, kicking someone with your feet, compared to, I don't know. Alright, this is dark. So, uh, probably gonna see my first death. Yeah, this is what the, uh, Echo thing was for. Well, at least the first time thing. Okay. So, the ability we got last episode, which allowed us to use the echo of the bat, lets us get through this area here. So, get us some cross and shoot again. And some corner points. Nice.
Ooh, got a rare drop. The Skull Shield. Shield with a Knight Crest. It's not bad. It definitely fits the aesthetic of the area. Mm. I, I think, though, I'm going to stick with this one. Just for the fact that when we do use our shield, we'll get hearts back. As many times I accidentally use my sub weapon, I'm wasting the hearts. So, we'll, uh, we'll stick with this one. Plus, you know, I like the you know, ominous. Ooh, is the heart on the left side or is it on the right side? Ooh. Yep, I went through all that trouble to get. Bike Breaker Armor. Oh, and I record. Spike Breaker. Spike Breaking Armor. And it gives us one more defense. So, you know what? Why not? Alright. So I guess now we can uh, break spikes. Cool. I was gonna stab you. Nah. I threw my stone. Hey, you guys you got stabbed. What gets me though is there is a weapon called the Werebane. It's a great against, you know, wear enemies, right? But, like, I've, no matter what time I've been in the game, I've always been able to one shot those wear skeletons. I've just. I, I don't know. An oversight, something maybe. I don't know. All right. Yep. This area that was really hard. Like, here's the thing though. You all are lucky, but if you mess up, so if you transform, and let's say you know I didn't have the spike armor, I hit that, he would transform back, and he just gets thrown around because all these spikes hurt without this armor. So I would have just died. Because I couldn't stop. I barely had time to heal. Just. There's nothing you can do about it. Where are you going? Come back here, boy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but uh, not bad. So, if anything, it saves us the trouble of having to go back through the area. See if I can do it. Nah, I overcorrected. Sometimes if you land on it, you can perfectly land right in between them and collect them both at the same time. Nice, 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 nice. Look at this lovely crowd of skeleton people. They just. Hanging around. Loss of. Loss of. Mask. Is less that. We're just gonna be rolling with the JoJo mask. Behold, Ice Brand. More damage. The Ice Sword of Mim. So here, we finally got one of our big uh, element weapons. And it has a cool special attack you can charge and use. Not bad, not bad.
Remember the Combat Knight does a lot more damage than that guy. This guy here, I believe. No, I thought it was a one shot. Ooh. Okay. Moving through. Yeah, that's right. All the extra damage we do to you, buddy. 102 damage to the annoying little fire imp. It's such a nice day. Ah, yes, the walk armor. Defense increases with map coverage. As you see, at this point in the game, if you haven't really explored too much, it gives you this much defense. However, we'll probably come back to this later on, but as you actually explore more of the map, you get more defense. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. He drops resist fire. Who would have longer? Strawberry. The plant dropped a strawberry. A ripe red strawberry. Very nice. I guess we're in a pinch and need some good healing. Somebody say boss? Hmm. Never a good sign. Oh boy. He's done it. Such an ominous room. It's upside down. Okay. Yep, we did it. Okay, throw the sneaky plant on me. Behold, Boom kill. Probably butchered it. Strong versus holy. This goes back to the argument. How many holy enemies are we going to come across? Uh, yeah, so. Uh, does pretty good damage. Same damage as Ice Sword. I think I'm just going to stick with the Ice Sword. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. There we go. Um... We pretty much came down here, did what we need to do, and uh, let's go ahead and use the library card. Let's see if we can buy something, actually. Hold on. Whoa. 
What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. What can I do for you? <laughs> Alright, so. This is part we'll be going for. Joseph's cloak. It does a whopping one more in defense. Quite expensive, but hey. Uh, we could probably get the diamond plate if we wanted more defense. The reverse cloak? Nah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, at this point in the game, there's only so many things you'll want to buy. So yeah. Alright, we have... No, of these we got left. So, let's just go ahead and buy a couple more of those. Um, he's starting to sell high potions now. So, you know, let's get a... Ooh, these are expensive. Uh, let's get three of them. Why not? Uh, let's see how many... Got six of those, two of those, one of those, one of those. So we probably wouldn't get a terrible lot of money right now. So we'll probably save that for now. So. Ooh! Go mess with the library real quick. Remember the super jump? Yeah, we're gonna go surprise him and just bonk him out of his chair real quick. Yeah. Um, weird library again. Save us a lot of back travel. We could basically climb all the way back up, got to the warp point. But there's a warp point nearby, so it's like, mm, let's just go back here. That's who doesn't love the library. The beautiful harpsichord in the music. Charming librarian. The books that want to kill you. Just great. Just a great place to be. I do like how this room is like this big like layered area. Love it. Man dropped a whole sword. That's not that good as well. So here we have the bronze cuirass. Um you could probably guess it's going to be no use to us at this point in the game. <laughs> he doesn't even notice. Yep. This is going to be fun to do. Yeah, but he drops a life of force. As you're going to go until I messed up, <laughs> right now the mana. Alright, so. Ooh. Well, it would only decrease everything by one, so. Now we got this. He dropped the Ring of Arcana. Increases rare item appearance. Very nice. Made look like a simple gold ring. There's actually something much more. So now, we got more life than we started with. And, enemies. Now a slightly increased chance of dropping their rare drops. Very nice. I believe luck also affects that as well. So let's say there's a certain enemy and you're like, I heard this enemy drop something really cool. Well, let's take a luck potion, have that ring equipped, and see? We got another sword from one of the fleeting man. Yeah, but uh, just keep those equipped. 
and then I'll drop some Motown. Not, not every enemy has a drop, I believe, but a lot of them do, so. Oftentimes they'll drop something that's uh, really helpful for that point in the game. Alright, so where do I want to go with this? I think I could just go ahead and in some ways the area is slightly optional right above us but you know let's uh let's go explore it pick us up some goodies along the way there's a few upgrades maybe some life ups for us yeah oh by the way here's the fog i was talking about before it's kind of it's not horrible i mean it looks very good for what it is it's kind of jarring in a way Have a save point real quick. Wow, it's mysteriously not foggy in here. All right. All right. So let's go. Let's go explore the area. You're looking forward to it? I'll be honest. No. Behold the clock tower. Maybe I'll just uh, fly on up here. Oh, would you look at that? There is something up here. The fire of bat. Whoosh! Yeah, we can just shoot fire now. Very good when you really need to do those damages while you're flying around. Doesn't do a lot of damage. That does just enough. Oh, the bridge is out. Oh no, the bridge is out. Again. Fire! Let's try it again. <laughs> Got him. Ice Mail, Megatoa, and the Shaman Shield. Ice Mail. Nope. Megatoa. <laughs> nope. Shaman Shield does the same. Sorry. Um, would have been good if we would have came here immediately after. Getting the ability to fly. But, uh... Scully, no. Don't be mean to me. It would be good if we came here earlier. Maybe gotten those upgrades when we got the ability to fly as soon as we did. But uh, now here's one of the areas where the water been useful. The water ability to survive in the water is useful. Alright. Now we're gonna have some fun. Let's see some. There's these certain gears over here. Very subtle. Alright, probably heard there. There was a click. And you see, there's a door over there. We can't quite get through yet. So. That'll do. One, two. Open right block. Now, if you have a weapon that reaches that gear, it's fine, but sometimes you don't, so. Did we just get a bunch of new upgrades? Heck yeah. Steel mail. Gold plate. Star flail. 
All right, let's see if we finally get an upgrade to the mask. We may now finally retire the mask. The standard adventures helm does one more defense. Nice. Um, got the gold plate armor. Mm -mm. Nope, does less. And star flail. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Star flail. It, uh, it also does less. So looks like we just get an upgrade to our to our hat. So we say goodbye to the JoJo references. They're finally done. They're finally over. The ancient ceremonial mask is done. We finally got an upgrade, even if it is a whopping one defense. Why not? Seem to have lost my rebound stone, and looks like we're using holy water. Ah, it's fine. Oh, hurts. Cash in the bank. And let's go up here. Oh, I was about to be upset. Okay, so he dropped a sword. It's pretty good for what it is. But he has a chance to drop one of two swords. One of them is really rare, and it's really fun. Do I want to sit here and grind for it? How many? How many? How much does it take to kill him? Okay, no. If it, if I could do one shot to him, I'd consider it. But he drops. He can basically. Uh, you have to get two of the swords. You get two of the swords, and basically you use both swords at the same time. It is a really cool special attack. It's very nice. Does a lot of damage to stuff on the screen, but it's it's such a grind. And honestly, I don't even know if the sword does that much damage compared to her ice sword normal. Besides the special attack. Yeah, I'll take the daggers. I like the daggers. statue points away, but I know you were hiding secrets from me. The healing mail. Restore HP while walking. At this point, like I said, we would came here earlier. May have been better defense. We have a lot more defense now compared to it. But, every so often while using it, you uh, you just heal one point of health. It's very good if you like that sort of like passive healing as you go. And yes, if you were like run a corner like this, it, it counts. It just just heals you. Thank you, mysterious statue. Okay, just a nice little boss. Very good aesthetic. I'm going to show you probably how easy this boss is. That's it. Yep, we uh we beat a boss. Now, are we probably a little overpowered at this point in the game for it? Maybe. But you can just unlock that boss anyway. Overwrite data? Sure. Alright. Hey, does this look familiar? That's right. This is the beginning of the game area. We've played as Riktor. And, well, mess things up. Ooh, he's candy. Hey, look, he's candy. 
gate that leads nowhere. Behold, the ghost card. Let's grab these real quick. Right. The ghost familiar. <gasps> oh god, he's so nice. Um, he does different status effects on enemies. And he can even at higher levels? Like nab on enemies and just steal their health for you. But you're gonna love this, watch this. He just doesn't know where you went and just left. Come back normal, he's like, oh hey, how's it going? No, oh, there you were, I missed you. <laughs> Alright, um, what are we thinking? Let's go back to the sword card. Bring your sword friend back. Right, that's how we're doing so far, if everyone's curious. A demon's level seven. Come on. Alright. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do this real quick. Don't do it. Little tucked away secret area. Fire mail. Now we just have armor that's really good against fire. A lot less defense. Alright, so you might have noticed before we had the ability to turn into mist, right? But now. Yeah. I wasn't just canceling the mist early. You can only turn into a mist for a little bit. Now, with that. They can just stay as a mist as long as they want. Can't get hurt, can't do nothing. But it's very good if you just want to go through an area you're like, nope, I'm done. Get me out of this area. I ain't doing it. Well, that's what this is good for. Keep running out of man. Uh... Oh, that's all that thought you've been through. Huh? Yep. Not bad, huh? Not bad. So now, if we ever just have some trouble in a certain area, we're like, I just really don't want to fight it. I gotta get through it. Or, say we're close to death and like we can't quite get a potion. There we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and explore a little more this way. Steps are broken, so we're just gonna... Well, there I didn't forget about the secret stairs that come down when you hit that button. Sorry, it looks a little different, but not too crazy. Flake critter! Pot roast! Turkey! Sir, some pretty good healing items right there. There's a stone, there's a stark, there's this holy, and the platinum mail! Ooh, it's less defense. Yeah, we get really overpowered for this area. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know, this was the first area we fought, so. I wonder what's gonna be on the other side here. I've been waiting for you. So it is you. But why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. Before we end that, yeah, basically what he's saying is the Belmonts defeat Dracula every time he comes back. So Richter's like, yes, I bring him back. I'll, I'll have purpose. I can fight him forever. Ah! 
<laughs> I didn't know the ice sword froze him like that. That's right, we're finally fighting Richter. Magnificent! But now feel my unbridled wrath. Oh, he's charged. Ow. 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 He hurts now. Ow. He's powered up. I'm in danger. Humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. Oh no. We've we've defeated Richter. And stopped his plans of resurrecting. Dracula. And that's it. That's it. The, the castle is gone. We've, we've put a stop to the evil plans of the evil vampire hunter. And, uh, yeah. What a shame we had to do it to him. Mankind continues to fight, but it is a desperate fight to stay alive. I suppose that he chose a life of warfare, since that was the only way he knew. Like you, father, he chose a path of destruction. Farewell, land of my birth. Never again will these eyes gaze upon your beauty. Oh boy, thanks for watching everybody. You did good. We beat the game. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. That's right. Can you believe it? There's more to the game. Yep. That is what's considered the bad ending. We defeat Richter. But here's a few things. What about Maria? What, 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 what is she doing in all this, right? And it's like, she's like, um, it's like, but you know, we're supposed to, you know, she's trying to figure out what happened to Richter, right? We, we just don't tell her. We just go beat the man up. Save the day, right? I get this. There we go. I am the fast. Yeah. So I think since we gone through all that trouble, it's like, I don't know. Maybe we should go find Maria. And all this. I just it just feels hmm. Feel something's a little off. So I got a hunch. Maybe I know where Maria is. Let's go pay her a visit.
Oh no, spikes, whatever will I do? I guess I'll have to walk through them with the mighty spike breaker armor. Yes. The, the main point of getting the spike breaker armor is that up to this point, we'd be able to go get all the way down here and go through this door. Anyway, you know, let's see what's on the other side. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That, that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. In tower. Where in clock tower? How ominous. So yeah. So, before we know, when we saw Richter, technically at this point, is we saw him in the Colosseum. He comes forth it's like, ha ha, go Minotaur and the werewolf beat this man up. And he's like, wait a minute. These guys yours in this castle? I don't think so. So really at this point, you could choose, if you find Richter, you can you can go fight him. It's your choice to go fight him and confront him. Be like, why would you do such a thing? Why are you the, the lord of this castle? Why you bring back Dracula? You know, he, he, you would think he has a good reason. You know, there's no more reason for me to fight. Let's bring back Dracula. I can have my reason. The people will need me. So... But it's like, eh, Maria's like, ah, I don't believe that's true. So, yeah. Now we... Ooh, we gotta... Hmm. How do I want to go about doing this? A little bit of backtracking? I guess since... It's been a while since we've been through this area, experienced the music, we'll just, uh... We'll backtrack to this area a little bit. But now, we have to wear the rings in the clock tower. Which I believe is a sort of translation issue. Or maybe just an ominous warning. Or ominous uh, hint. Because it's not actually in the area of the clock tower. What we have to wear those rings is you remember that big room with the big clock where we first meet Maria? Yeah, we gotta go back there. All right, sword, we're back. We're gonna mess you up. I got a sword of my own. Floating sword too, I mean. He's learning. Get him. Ooh, come on, get him, mess him up. Ooh, see that? Ooh, come on, get him, get him, get him, come on. Come on. He's trying his best. No, 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 you were right on top of him. No, please. Yes. Oh, what now? Ooh, come on, come on, come on. You're doing great, sword buddy. Get him. Oh, this might be it. Ooh, good job. You did great. I'm proud of you. Showing everybody what you're capable of. Interesting. This thing has a lot of health. But I'm curious because it has a couple drops we can get from it. I guess I might have failed before. I think I said there's only a way to do one damage to it. But I guess certain element weapons can do more to it. I went too far. Oh, I went too far. Kinda. 
Okay, well, so we're backtracking a different way. Actually, this is good. A mistake that proved fruitful. Alright, there's actually something we can pick up in this area over here. Behold the shiny! That's right, we got the back card. Now, we have a bat of our own. And every time we transform, it falls in love with us. And then gets questioned. So... He's a fun familiar. His gimmick, though, is that as he levels up, eventually, he'll summon more bats. So every time we turn into a bat, we just become an army of bats. And every time we fire a fireball, they also fire a fireball. It's very nice. Okay. Alright, so, it's a good thing we came that way. Now we're just going to head towards the actual clock, the big clock room. Hey, burp tastes like pizza. Brr, 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 brr. <laughs> Nice and nice. Whoa, I'll tell you what. That was probably my worst impression. Oh, they're after me. Alright. Um, I don't know if you had to put them on before you go in the room, so let's just do this. Gold ring. Silver ring. Forward. Life max up for our trouble. Heart max up for our trouble. Yeah, save point. But we'll, we'll come back to that. Ominous room is ominous. joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Is best than if you pray for the soul of your friend. We have now achieved the holy glasses. See beyond magical curses. Yep. So the truth is out. 
Richter's evil. And Maria's like, we have to be careful. Someone might be controlling him. It's not him, it's normal self. And you're like, I don't know. What I saw was the bad guy. I hit the mic, but that was loud. Alright, so I think with that, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. I know, I'm so rude, aren't I? But yeah, um, we'll cut it off there for now. And next episode, we'll be back to confront Richter once again. And uh, I wonder if things will go different this time. Anyway. Hope you uh, had fun watching. Enjoyable experience. Hope I didn't ramble too much this time. Um, and with that, have a great morning, day, night, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.